Hey, Eric from Avant Manufacturing here, and I know it's been a little while since I've posted a video or been all that active on social media, but I finally did get this little webcam, and because I want to create just short little easy videos, um, maybe some of them will be long, I don't know, but uh, there's some cool computer stuff that I like to do, and I've been using NX for a year now, and I like it a lot, a lot of cool stuff going on with it. Um, so basically I just want to share some of the stuff that I like, some of the stuff that I think maybe could be improved, some just whatever, whatever. Um, so the first thing that I want to share is if you're using NX or if you want to use NX or whatever, if, if it, I just, I just want to show you this thing. <laughs> so the first thing basically for me uh, when installing NX is, is to get a license server set up because here I have my computer, I have, there's a computer over there for uh, basically people, other people who work here to learn NX programming, stuff like that. Uh, so having different computers and being able to have them all access the, a license server and pull licenses as needed is pretty important uh, for me. So it just simplifies things. So I want to have a dedicated server just for serving up those licenses. And so I went ahead and I spun up, and I, oh, oh, I also want it to be on Linux, mostly because, you know, it's free. So I use uh, Debian Linux for a lot of different things, um, mostly server type stuff. And so I just want to use another instance of that for serving up Siemens uh, PLM licenses. And let's just get right to it then. So I have already prepared a fresh server so this is just a, a clean install of Debian 9 point whatever the latest thing is I'm pretty sure and I went ahead and logged in as root the, the host name of this machine is called SPLM-license so that way later on when I have to set an environment variable on the different machines to point to a license server uh, I can point it to this host name um, so yeah, right now we're logged in as root at the root home directory, and I went ahead and already downloaded the uh, license server installer and my license file, as well as the get CID uh, binary script. And so, so one thing you'll need to know is that, well, regardless of what system you're using, installing on, whatever, you need a license file and a license server. So whether you install that on the machine that you're actually doing your CAD CAM stuff on, um, or if you're setting up a license server like I am, uh, you're going to need this license file. And to get that, you're going to need to give Siemens uh, a CID and MAC address. So, and you get that by running the uh, CID pro get CID program. Um, so to download, you need to download that from the Siemens download server. So you go ahead and you do that, you get this program here. So for this, uh, for Linux, you're just going to run, you know, run the little script, right? So in, uh, Debian dot slash get CID. What that's going to do is it's going to spit out your CID number, your MAC address. You got to send that to Siemens and then they will send you your license file, which I already have here. You can see it's named splm9.lsc. I'm not going to run the get CID right now. I've already got my license file here. So, yeah, I have my license file, I have my setup binary, and we're basically, we're basically ready to start setting up. So we're going to go ahead and uh, dot slash SPLM license server. Hopefully you are running a better uh, terminal than I am because I'm just using VNC at the moment. I really do like MOBA extern. Um, but for right now, I'm just I just quick went into their VNC. This is so anyway that way I'd be able to like cop like highlight, copy and paste stuff. Uh, in this I can't do that. So we're just gonna go ahead and run this, and you'll see that we're gonna get an error. Yeah. So make sure LSB 3.0 package is installed. Um, it's just a dependency, so we're gonna need to go ahead and install that. So first thing we're gonna do is update. And this machine's up to date. If it's not, you're gonna you're gonna want to go ahead and upgrade, right? I'm assuming you already know this. If you're installing the license server on a headless uh, Linux install, 
So go ahead and make sure your stuff's up to date. Um, next thing we'll want to do is install lsb-compat. And it's going to say we need to install all this other stuff as well. Just hit yes. And then it's just going to take a few moments. Um, really doesn't, it's not a whole lot there. So, and you'll see that once all this is installed, we'll go ahead and run the setup file again. And it should work. It's been a while since I've installed a license server. Um, you know, I've been using Siemens for about a year now, so I just remember it was pretty easy. There were a couple of things I need to remind myself of, so I kind of went through and practiced this once before making this video. But go ahead. All right, so we're all installed now. Now let's go back into running this guy again. And it should work now. Yes. So now we're in the installation dialog. And it's asking for a language. Choose the language of your choice. By default, it's three, which is English. I'm going to say yes to that just by hitting enter. Um, install folder, uh, user Siemens PLM license server. That's the default. I'm going to hit enter on that. License file. Now, I did tell you earlier about how I had mine named SPLM9.lic and I had it in the root home folder, which is where the default is pointing to right now. If your license file is named differently or in a different uh, directory, you're going to want to go ahead and change that and, and just point to that here now. Um, so mine is already, mine is the default, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to go ahead and install. Uh, no, asking for a username. Yeah, again, leave that as the default, SPLMLD. Cool. And looks good, yeah, enter. And now it's installing. So you can see at the end here, it said error running check config add SPLMLD. Now, this is not a big deal. It did install correctly. What check config is, if we go right here and find out, um, updates and queries run level and system services. Now this is uh, something I believe that's Red Hat specific uh, because this license server is supported by Siemens on Red Hat operating system. It's not supported on other Linux distros. I think maybe SUSE, um, but I'm running Debian. It's not supported. And so it tried running this check config. Debian doesn't have that, it has something else. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly what check config was trying to do, assuming we were running Red Hat. But since we're running Debian, you're going to have to find out if you're running even something different than Debian. You're going to want to find out what the equivalent is in your operating system. Um, but for Debian, basically all we need to do is we need to do update-rc.d uh, splmld defaults. Right, so we do that. I'm gonna double check, update. I have notes over here. Yes, okay. So we're just gonna run that. And what that command did was basically add the new service to the, I'm pretty sure what is just like startup uh, script or list or whatever to say that run this service on startup. I think that's what it is. Anyway, um, I know enough that that basically does what the check config was trying to do, but it had an error. So uh, next thing I want to do is see if the service is running. So SPLMLD is running right now. So that's good. So installed, it's running. We did our update RC. Um, basically, what I want to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and reboot this guy. OK. And I rebooted, I just want to make sure that that service is going to start after a reboot. So, um, okay, let's get back in here as root again. Okay, so. So we're back in here as root, uh, we rebooted, and we're gonna go ahead and check which services are running. 
SPLM LD is running. So that's good, our update RC command did work. Um, so now I'm going to go to the install directory, which is user Siemens, uh, I think it's PLM license server, I think. Yep. So, and then we have this uh, command called lmutil here. So I'm going to go ahead and dot slash lmutil. And we have some ways to read that. So I want to do lmutil. I just want to see lm. Where is it? Uh, that? I think that's. I think that's what I want. Okay, cool. So, this is basically telling me that the, the license server is up and running. So, license server status, port 28,000, the SPLM license. It's pointing to the license file um, on SPLM license, which is, yeah, SPLM license server. So, basically, during the install, it copied the license file that was in the home directory over to the install directory, and that's what it's using now. Um, yeah, so version 11.15, all that fun stuff, and it looks like it's good. It's up and running. So that's pretty much the end of this video. Uh, yeah, so once once you have your NX installed on your client machines, you'll want to set your environment variable to uh, point to this license server, and then if you want to have it automatically grab bundles as well, depending on which machine is doing what or you know for for us i do not have it set to automatically grab bundles it's just more of like pick your stuff as needed so um yeah that's it that is how you install the splm license server on at debian linux so hope you guys enjoyed it um maybe it was pretty boring that's fine, I guess, but if this is useful information to you, then I guess you're welcome. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll, I'll be sharing some more stuff here shortly. Uh, I'll get, we'll get into the actual NX user interface and different tools and whatnot like that. Again, I'm a new user. I've only been using it for a year, um, doing CAM programming on the Haas machines out here. And also some post-processor work, stuff like that. So, but I feel like I've become pretty fairly proficient at it. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of stuff I like about it and I'd like to share that with you guys. So just things I've learned along the way. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. So enjoy and until next time, cheers.